Statue Hunter 75 here. Hello, YouTube. Got Statue Hunter's Bags and Boards, episode 92. It's a new comic book Wednesday from Wednesday, October 30th, 2019. Video on this a little after the fact, but this is everything that I've gotten from visiting my stores. Uh, the three main stores that I visited was uh, in order of visitation, uh, Harrison's Comics in Salem. Then I went to, uh, where did I go after? Then I went to Counterplay Comic. No, I'm sorry. Then I went over to uh, Paper Asylum over on Cabot Street in Beverly. And then I went to Counterplay Comics in Burlington. So let's see. We started it with um, Jubilee Chews. Uh, <laughs> it's actually... Uh, this is a very cover for, um, oh my goodness, what was this book? It was, uh, I want to say Excalibur number one. No, it's not Excalibur number one. What the hell is this? Come on. I'm going to have to actually open it and take it out. Maybe it's the House of X or Powers of X. Trying to remember here. Yeah, trying to remember. Let's see. It was Excalibur number one. All right, so it's a variant cover for Excalibur number one. And in Excalibur number one, the it's the first team appearance of a new Excalibur team, which is Captain Britain, who is now Betsy Braddock, Jubilee, Gambit, Rogue, Richter, and Apocalypse. And there were quite a few variants of this. Um... So, let's see, this being the Jubilee Choose variant. And the other odd thing was, there were two different colors. I don't know if it's really showing, it probably is showing up. There was the darker blue, and then more of a, a lighter aqua teal, or whatever you want to call it. But there's the darker shade. So, I don't know if that's going to make any variation or make anything be worth anything. We've got Doctor Strange number one annual. Um, I don't think there was any major solicitation on this. Uh, one of Doctor Strange's magical relics will be awakened, but I didn't buy this because of that. I bought this because this is one of my favorite artists, uh, Gabrielle Del Otto. Oh, no, I'm sorry, not Gabrielle Del Otto. It's Ariel Olivetti. Um, haven't seen his work in a while. Um, another one of my favorite artists. I mean, I do like Del Otto better, but Ariel Ol Olivetti has done some pretty cool... Sideshow statues, they've based off of his art, like the Hulk jumping down, and the Punisher comic cat, and uh, the, jeez, what else did Ariel Olivetti, uh, they based the Venom comic cat on it, um, his artwork, the Spider-Man comic cat, uh, also the um, Carnage comic cat, which I own all of those statues. Runaways number 26, basically just the last in the series, so that's why I picked it up. Venom 19, here we go, the big book of the week, big, big, big book of the week. Uh, Donnie Cates magic right here. Uh, Sleeper, in this book, Sleeper realizes Dylan is unique. Sleeper being this guy, I, I posted this in a previous video uh, that I had picked, I was fortunate enough to pick this up at a great price from um, uh, Pleasant View Comics over in Rhode Island. Uh, Venom first host, there you go, so number three and on the cover is Sleeper. So, he's all over the new Donny Cates stuff. Um, Monday Fatality was a couple books from last week that I wasn't able to pick up, but they had them at Harrison, so I grabbed them. Roku was a new book from this week. I don't know if there was any major, um, and also that Monday Fatality... It was a one-shot horror comic, uh, back to this, with the cool wolf cover here. It's a one-shot horror comic. A bishop visits a small Norse town to investigate the presence of witches, but he is met with something far more evil. So there you go. Roku. I'm um, not sure if there was any major solicitation for Roku. I don't... I do not believe there was. So... Also, uh, back to Runaways, too. That's the first team appearance of Revenging Runaways. Uh, debut of code names and costumes. So maybe it wasn't the final issue either. Runaways number 26. 
Um, I still don't see anything for a Roku. So it's just a, it's a number one issue of Valiant Comic. So I picked it up, picked up the couple of variant covers. And then we have another big book from this week. Big, big book. Big book alert. Um, this was a hot key too for this week. Uh, Dead Man Logan, number 12 of 12. Not only is it the last in the series, but it's also the first full appearance of Danielle Cage. That's Luke Cage and Jessica Jones' daughter. Uh, it was the first full appearance of Danielle Cage as the new Thor. It's also the first full appearance of the Avengers of the Wasteland. There's Danny Cage as Thor leading the team in the old man Lo Logan con continuity. So, and that's coming out this January. Silver Surfer Black number five. Wicked, wicked cool, hot Mary Jane cover. Um, I like the DNA covers, so I picked it up. And, uh... The solicitation for Silver Surfer Black was basically, it's a conclusion of the story arc. It's also got the origin of Silver Surfer Black, so pick that up. Monster Planet number one, I don't think there was any major solicitation on this um, that I noticed, but it's a number one issue, so I'm always going to try and pick up the number one issues. Actually, there was a solicitation. It's a five-issue limited series, but a team of monsters... That join forces with a man to save humankind from a deadly virus. So there you go. Some cool covers. And the hottest, coolest cover, which I love right there. That's just a sweet, sexy cover. So I picked up all three of those variants that I could pick up. Um, just in case something ever comes out of that. Another hot book from this week was Bucket Full of... Bass, not Bucket. Basket Full of Heads. Um, and this is from DC and Joe Hill of Hill House Comics. So basically, <clears throat> it's written by Joe Hill. He's the author of Lock and Key and The Wraith and also the son of Stephen King. That's pretty cool. In this book, a young woman wields a bewitched Viking axe against four criminals whose decapitated heads speak to her and continue to endanger the life of the one she loves. Um, <clears throat> also, there's uh, speculation that there's, uh, it's similar to the Millerwood deal with Netflix. Uh, it's it's logical for Warner to secure a multimedia, multimedia deal with Joe Hill under the Hill House imprint for HBO Max. That would be cool. So, hopefully something comes of this. Uh, I picked up the plot number two. Um, just because I'm liking that story, so I grabbed that as well, just to get the one and two issues at least. Uh, picked up a second uh, print of the vault number one. And picked up Snow White Zombie Apocalypse. This was a thick book. It was uh, $5.99. Really thick. Um, it's a one-shot. It's a one-shot issue with Snow White joining forces. Um, with Prince Charming and his other girlfriend, Rapunzel, to survive a zombie apocalypse. So, it's something different. We'll see if anything ever comes out of it. I uh, picked up these older books. Uh, basically, it's the first appearance of Terax. It's uh, Fantastic Four 211. Uh, picked these up at uh, Counterplay Comics in Burlington. Uh, also picked up Fantastic Four number 226. What I thought was cool about this is that it's actually an era cover. Um, it's the first appearance of uh, Samurai Destroyer, uh, but they also write on the cover, <laughs> Marvel, shame on you. They uh, misspelled Samurai. They added in an extra letter there on Samurai. I don't think there's no uh, A in Samurai. The second A should be gone, so it should be S-A-M-U-R-A-I instead of the A-U-R. Um, also picked up Fantastic Four number 64 because it was really cheap for a first appearance of the century. Oh, the century sinister. Um, Fantastic Four 27. Uh, this was the first cover appearance of Doctor Strange. Pretty cool there with Submariner also with the Fantastic Four. And there you see Doctor Strange with his debut cover. I mean, this is worth a good
good good chunk of money. This book is worth a good chunk of money, but this is a really low grade, but low grade is always better than no grade. And we see the uh, tear, the whole corner is torn off there. So, Oh, hot uh, variant of the week. Picked up two of them. I uh, got one at Harrison's and one at um, um, Paper Asylum. Of course, Anthony gave me a much sweeter deal, but Harrison's had the 20% off too, so actually... Actually, no, come think of it. I think they were both around the same price. I think they were on both for 20 bucks. It's one in 25. Uh, no, Anthony usually hooks me up with a sweeter deal. So I know Anthony lumped in a bunch of books. I don't know specifically what he charged me for this. So, But it was a wonderful deal, as always. So that's why I always shop at <clears throat> Paper Asylum on Cabot Street in Beverly. So Venom, number 19. Big, big book. With the fact that uh, Sleeper uh, uh, Sleeper realizes Dylan is unique. So we got more on the unfolding of Dylan Dylan Brock's character. So there you have it. That was uh, that was a batch of books. We're not done. 11 minutes in. Still got books to go. Picked up Safe Sex number two. Uh, just number two in the series. So wanted to grab it. Uh, let's see here. Also picked up Crazy. Number one, it came out a week late for me. Um, it's basically Marvel Comics' take on uh, Mad Magazine, like their version. They did a long time ago. They're starting to do it again, I guess. Bringing everything. They're always bringing things back. Picked up the A cover of Excalibur number one and picked up the one in ten variant of Excalibur number one. Picked up the or is it one in twenty-five? I think it's a one in twenty-five variant actually. Hold on one second, let me find out. I don't want to give out bad information. Uh what kind of comic book reviewer would I be giving out bad information? Okay, so this variant is actually a one in twenty-five variant. And the the uh cover art is by Chris Anka. So there you have it. And then we have the Red Goblin. That's another 1 in 25. Red Goblin number 1. Um, so that's a pretty sweet variant there too. Um, let me see. I'm not going to I do my best to tell you who the artist is of this. Um, I hate not mentioning the artist, giving them their credit. Whew, getting tired. <laughs> Video in a little bit late. All right, this... Um, this is the variant, 1 in 25 variant cover out by Pete Woods right here. So that's pretty cool with the goblin there. I'm actually going to throw these variants in a hard top loader. Uh, picked up the last god, book one of the epoch of the... Book one of the Felspry Chronicles. So this right here is a uh, first issue. Um, basically, the legions of the last god <clears throat> march across Cain Anun, and a new group of unlikely warriors must band together to do what no one has done before. I also picked up, um, I'll get into it later actually. There's the uh, A and B covers. Another co A cover of Basket Full of Heads, another B cover. Because I think that's going to turn out to be some beautiful variant of Venom 19. And, of course, the A cover of Venom 19. And then we got a variant of Silver Surfer Black with Null and the Silver Surfer. Norn Rad going at it there. Uh, next batch of books. Ah, oldie but goodie was the Venom Wraparound Immortal Hulk variant. Um, an older Captain America. I already reviewed this, but I picked this up somewhere else too. So, but just really hot. Love that with Mary Jane on the back with the flag. Picked up another one of Marked, number one. Um, still trying to get that one per store variant. If anyone wants to help me out with that, that'd be great. Marauders, number one, the uh, 1 in 25 variant. Picked up a Harbinger, number one. Unfortunately, it didn't have the inserts. But just really cool. It's got that clear backboard. There is there is a board here. It's just a clear plastic one. So you can see the front and back. See how sharp this uh, 
It's a pretty sharp copy of Havage and the one from the 90s. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the inserts, but I really want to pick up one with the inserts. Those mail-in uh, coupons or whatever it was to get the pink version. So everyone tore those out going for that pink version of having Gen number one. Uh, picked up one, a book from last week that they didn't have. That they had now. Gore number one. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number 99. This was a thick one on the countdown to number 100. This is cover B. The cover rats by uh, Kevin Eastman, I think. So it's pretty cool. Uh, number 99. They have it. And then I picked up Harleen. <clears throat> this is book two. Harleen. Just some really cool artwork in there. So I wanted to pick it up. And then, of course, picked up Joker Killer Smile. And uh, this is the first appearance of Mr. Smiles. Uh, that's a really cool variant. I think that's the second B cover. And then, of course, I think this is the A cover. So uh, really happy to pick up those. Just wish they weren't so big like magazines. Be so much easier to store. But that wraps it up for this issue of Bags and Boards, issue number 92. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please give a, give a thumbs up, uh, like, and subscribe. And uh, as always, you know, please uh, please um, hit, the, hit the little bell if you do subscribe. So you'll get all the, uh, I'm just taking a thumbnail shot for the cover at. Uh, you'll get a little um, notification every time I post a new video if you hit that little bell when you subscribe. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good evening.